You know what game I remember playing on the DS? What? Which what? One? Motherfucking Spectrobes. Please refrain oh, from Spectrobes, bro. <laughs> The part that I got stuck on for the first time was uh, the part where you had to go up the fucking Aurora Mountain, and that was like their way of explaining the fucking type differences to you. So, me, because I was like speed reading, I didn't actually like read all the fine print. It's like, oh, you need like a special suit to get up there, otherwise you're just gonna get damaged by the, the Aurora energy because it's so close to you or what the fuck ever. So I was like, okay, I guess I need the, the Aurora suit, right? No, I needed the fucking Corona suit, haha, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> because that was the that was the red fucking type was Corona, which is what was the counter to Aurora. And then Aurora was like the counter to whatever the fuck the blue one was. Yeah. The uh the triangle system. And you yeah, had like everybody it, it was red yeah. and green it was red, green, and blue. <laughs> and then there was like and the everybody... dark ones. Everybody was like, oh man, I really like the power fist, or I like the blaster, and I was like, nah man, I'm rocking with that sword, dude. Wait. Yeah, same here. Honestly, though, I, because in the first game, you could like literally, you could like hot swap all your shit. That's actually how I ended up beating the final boss. I didn't use my spectropes. No, no, no. I used all the fucking weapons that I fucking grinded onto my character, and I was just cycling through all of them, just constantly stun locking him until he died. <laughs> Shit was too funny. My spectropes both got got, like, immediately in the fight. Not me. I, I just killed him myself. Fight with your spectropes. Nah, man, I got a sword. I don't need my fuck. I don't need these things. And a fist and a gun. I really wish I could have kept my my DS light. Oh, oh he's trying to run from me. Spectrum is the from, weirdest Disney game ever. Check out Boost. I went from a Game Boy Color, and I didn't get another game system until I got a PS2. There was a uh, Spectrum's two was pretty good, but then after that, I don't remember playing. Ha ha! Yeah, you found. What the game. hell? It's a yeah. Secret. You're now, you're no, now classic Mario. Oh, he just suddenly turned now... small. What? There you go. You are now classic Mario. That was <laughs> that was random. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's that's, face. that's so look at his face. like, what the fuck just happened? Okay. Um. What the fuck just happened? In the words of the protagonist from uh, Hunt Down the Free Man. What the fuck? Yeah, I've been I only playing. remember. I only remember the second Spectrobes. I don't think I ever got into the third one or any ones after that. There was no. Yeah, there, yeah, there, there, there was, was one that came out on console. Yep, there was one that came out on the Wii, Spectrobe Origins, and really? I never played it. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, Which yeah, I, I. I wanted it. I wanted. To I play never it. played it either. So I have no idea if it was actually any good or not. Like I remember the first one was like, okay, yeah, it, it's okay, got a pretty good you proof wanna of concept. Okay, you want to be this big of a douche. What the, the second? All right. Ooh. He literally turned you into a straw man. He turned him into the scarecrow. I obviously the can't do shit. You can use defense. Yeah, I just did. You know what would have been wild in Spectrobes if in Kingdom Hearts oh, 3 there was a Spectrobe world because Spectrobes is owned by Disney. Mm. It is? Yes. Spectrobes is a Disney game. I had no idea. Tell them. Sora it's true. Ends up in, Sora ends up in fucking Spectrobe world. Get yourself the Corona suit so you can go up the mountain. Wait, I gotta look this up. Holy shit. It's yeah, right, no, like, there, there, was a, there was a Disney, like, online service that I never got to use either, but, uh... <laughs> where you could, like, go online and, like, fight other people and shit, I think. Disney Use Interactive Spectrum. Studios. Huh. I will climb the mountain. I will be up there, fighting Xehanort with my fucking Spectrums. I did uh, not- I did not know that was by Disney, holy shit. <laughs> the more this you know! You know, Disney I was surprised with- that, uh, with, like, 
Disney owning now Star Wars for a long time. Yeah, baby. I'm surprised they didn't include. I didn't, I'm surprised they didn't include that in Kingdom Hearts. You would like, think that would have been one old. hell of a level. If you think you would think a game owned by Disney would be more marketed more because I don't remember seeing much marketing for Spectros back in the day. Nope. There was very little to none. I remember I got it for Christmas, and I never saw anything about it up until that point. Uh, uh, hmm, that's huh. odd. Still, I like the idea that Kingdom Hearts 3, Xehanort gets his fucking ass kicked by a bunch of legendary spectrums at the top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would be an amusing thought. Um, <laughs> come on. There we go. You're not strong enough, Xehanort. <laughs> You haven't raised your trainer level. Uh, <laughs> Flamestone? You just got oh. meteored. Motherfucker. Oh, uh. Meteors. Oh no, Meteor Swarm. One of the most dangerous spells in D&D. &D. Uh, That's not gonna do shit! Drain. Oh, that would work I this time. I was uh I was gonna mention I'd remembered what game that I played that I didn't use a strategy guide at all for. I didn't even watch people play it to figure out where I was going. That was it me was on a link to the past. That was all of my games because I couldn't afford a strategy guide. I had to brute force all my shit. <laughs> it's fair. Star Good Fox 64 brute forced it. Fucking goddamn Ocarina of Time brute forced it. Fucking yeah, Super Mario 64 when I fucking rented it for like four days. Brute force that through. shit too. You got through the water temple and OT all on your own some? Yes. Damn. Dang. Nah, I'll give, I'll give you props for that. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how, the but sign whatever. Of a veteran. What should I select for Bowser? Uh, Bowser's mainly, like, physical, so you might as well he's just keep tank. going there. Yeah, he's yeah. your meat tank hitter, so give him DPS. Yeah. Balance out um, his, uh, his defense and his attack. Yeah, basically, there's there's really only two options for Bowser. It says there's three options, there's really only two. You make him, you make him tougher, and you make him hit harder. There's attack and defense, those are the only two options. Ah, damn it! You're really enjoying that toy, aren't you, dog? Hmm. Anyway, uh, the one game that I actually got through, um, that I didn't need a strategy guide was Bowser's Inside Story. Bowser's Inside Story? Bowser's Inside, Bowser's yeah. inside Story. You, uh, you lagged out like, like... Yeah, it like skipped parts. It was like, Bowser's Inside Story. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> God dang it. Discord, your get your up. fucking shit together. Your audio, like, sped up or something. I think it might have, darn it. Oh! This suicide it's bombed really me! It's bad, it's like... Or only four damage, too, it's kind of pitiful. Ah, oh, fucking hell! It's really bad, because, like, when I was younger, I played a lot of uh, Star Fox 64, but I had to use the player guide for the train level to yeah. find out where all the switches were. No! Damn it! Watch, why'd you go back down? I only played I thought a it would disappear. Of, of uh, N64 games. There. And I love, I love Star Fox 64. I got a tattoo on my arm of that game. Same here. I love that game. My uh, father I played that one. I remember playing. Oh, man, right. yeah. 3D. That was my, yeah, that was like, my game. I didn't, it's like, not in dual para roll. I've got a... Something I'm gonna turn into a full sleeve sooner or later. <laughs> I love how I... some depictions of Slippy just com makes him completely brain dead. Yeah, no. The only thing you need Slippy for is just the, um... It's just the health bar for the boss. That's it. Yeah. It's just, yeah. The only thing you need Slippy for is the sheer volume of fire. As long as you yeah. have four people, as long as you have four ships shooting instead of three, hey, it's better than nothing. I'd rather just have Peppy tell me, aim for X. 
Yeah. Aim for Angle the open pepper. spot. I, 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 want... do, I do like how each of them kind of has their own use, though. They had their own little niche role just outside oh, wow. of the fact that they were just in your squadron. Yeah. And how they all get picked off so easily ah, when Star shit. Wolf comes by. Hold on. Oh, hello. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody's, um... Don't die Sorry, over there. Fucking die now. Jesus. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. And anyways, what am I what am I trying to say? Nothing. <clears throat> oh, I remember somebody made a top ten list of most hated video game characters, and I think the pig from Star Fox was like number one. Pigma. Pigma. Yeah. Pigma. Because he betrayed yeah. the team. He's a traitor. Yeah. And also, he's just kind of a piece of shit in general. So. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. I love well, that he got assimilated by the fucking bug creatures and fucking Star Fox. Yes, he did. Yeah. 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 Oh he, my got God. Fucking, he got aperoided. Yes, he <laughs> that did. Was, that was so freaking disturbing. <laughs> it went from, like, they, they went from, ah, talking dinosaurs, ah, big head space monkey man, to literally fucking xenomorphs. But, yeah. But slightly less terrifying. And then there's Star Fox. Machine Xenomorphs. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Machinomorphs, if you will. They steal your genes. Oh my god, they're fuck they're the fucking Tyranids from Warhammer. Oh god, that's terrifying. Oh, okay. I don't want to picture that. Well, honestly, it's Marines when you eat them. Use the flames. The heavy Everyone flames. prepare to laugh at me when I say the worst stage I hated with a passion. Was it flying battery zone again? Uh, I'm reading the chat. Hmm. Mm. Flying battery zone. Where's Where's flying battery zone? Sonic Three. Mm. Ah. Oh yeah, that was the quarter guy. Huh. It's been a while. <laughs> Out the motherfucker. <laughs> you know, speaking I mean, of. Hmm? Yep, I knew it. Yeah. No, it, it can be a little nerve-wracking because you're, like, up in the sky and you don't want to fall to your death. Uh, but on the subject of uh, Carnival Night Zone, um, you guys know who uh, Cybershell is, right? I have heard. Yeah, they, they call him the Lore Master. Anyways, um, the thing I remember him the most of is that he did a playthrough of the third Sonic game, and he called everybody retarded because they couldn't figure out the barrel, which... Is a very common complaint, and I don't blame anybody who couldn't figure it out. Mm. Yeah. He said it's so mm. easy to figure out, and you're all so fucking retarded. Way to poison your fan base. Or just a majority of people. What the fuck is this? I thought those were coins! <laughs> what are these so assholes? <laughs> I just found a super old tweet from T Pain back in 2013. Oh no. Oh, oh no. attention all attention all homophobic idiots. If you're not attracted to straight women, you're probably not attracted to gay men. You can unclench now. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh. That's spicy. <laughs> Well then. <laughs> he so just stuff. <laughs> give a shit. That is spicy. Somebody oh, get man. some ice. Oh my god. Damn it. I don't think you. I think Fuck. you need to have than that. I thought that genocide. I thought that genocide was a war crime. <laughs> we just witnessed a murder scene. Holy shit. Alright. We just witnessed. We witnessed a genocide. He just hold up, hold up. Uh, who do I pick for uh, Gino again? He's probably gonna be your caster, so.